Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 17 of ClickView Developer Series. In this session, we will see how to plot a pie chart, and uh, there are some limitations regarding the uh, legends of the ClickView charts. And uh, pie charts are generally used to show percentage or proportional data. It means that suppose you have a number of products, how your products are contributing in total revenue or else in total sales let's quickly switch into click view desktop and then we'll see how does it works actually i'm going to load data into click view from an excel file so i have sales data by a company by city and state as well as country let's see how uh, the company wise units were sold that means each company's contribution in total units sold so i have just selected the data let me reload it Now we have reloaded. So I want country and uh, company two list boxes. So I have selected them and then press OK. It will be created here. Let's maximize it. So now I want to create a pie chart. So that is available under chart. So to create that, right click on the pane and then select new sheet object. Then go to charts there you can find the pie chart down the line just select it and we'll look over i mean we have seen these uh, title and window title in the previous sessions so click on next and now we want to see sales by company so let's select company as the dimension then click on next then sum of units sold so units sold is my fact so as per the naming convention it is better to use hash in front of a fact name or a measure name so hash units sold So these, these are the uh, companies and uh, their contribution to the total unit sold, right? And so even though you select, you will get, I mean, the relative, then you will get the same relative power, I mean, values only because, so the total pi will be hundred percent and so each and everything will be contributing to the total on its own here if you uh, select rd and uh, its contribution is three percent to the total units sold and uh, as well as ford is contributing 9.53 and uh, nissan is contributing 5.43 out of hundred percent of sales then if you want to see top 10 so go to dimensional limits and then select restrict which values are displayed using the first expression then select largest 10 and forget about this show others because the show others will accumulate the all the remaining extra the first 10 and then it will show it i mean show that value as an 11th uh, value so let's forget about this we want to see only for the top 10 so these are the top 10 brands that are contributing to the unit sold okay so ford is contributing 16 6 9 12 so here in this case the total pi is 100% again 
So to get a right value, so enable the show others, then you'll get. So others are contributing 47% and the 10 are, cont I mean, remaining 10 are contributing so the remaining percentage it's 47 means around 53 percent is contributed by the 10 companies which are bmw Buick, chavlet chevrolet and ford gmc nissan porsche toyota volvo and others so this is how the sales were contributing right so let's give a name sales share so you can put the values on data points here just apply then you'll get values on data points and as well as if you wish to have a pipe pop-up means you feel like the sliced pizza in that case I mean kind of visualization then press one under pipe pop-up and apply it so that you can see it will be like the separated or a sliced pizza like view okay so and there are multiple styles in here so you can use uh, any of the style like this or else a 3d plot so else a, a normal pie or a tunat right in tunat also you have a, a plain plot or else 3d plot And here you can uh, decide the plot type if you have selected normal ones other than the gradient ones. So the plot color size, how you want, you want a solid color or a dark gradient. This is how it looks in the dark gradient. Or else a glossy view, like like a dazzling view and light gradient or else a solid. So by default, it's a solid color, right? So, and uh, this is about the style and sorting as usual you can sort by y value or else also load original you can do either way and in the expression we don't have anything pretty much about writing an expression and relative value so and then we have seen dimensions dimension limits expression sorting style presentation so do you want to have a a legend show numbers in legends you can show the numbers as well so the numbers will looks like this it means the legend which you are displaying here will be displayed here the legend values and then if you want to have text in chart you can place the text in chart like add text in chart. like top 10 products and uh, if you want to drag this one into in between so hold control shift and drag it here and then you may increase the size right you can uh, change the orientation as well so it is horizontal then if you want to have it in vertical you can make it to 270 degrees you can see a kind of vertical I mean, uh, text up and you want pop up labels or not you can decide if you want to have persistent colors you can make we'll see in the upcoming session sort of play with the colors right and you want to make it transparent you can make it or else you can place an image or a dynamic image that's your wish and number format as usual they'll work fine uh, whether you want to have in percentages or normals so anyway, most of the cases uh, will be using percentages in a pie chart plot. Okay, let's create stripe. I mean, sorry, uh, a bar chart. and add something to this so i want to have one the dimension in here the dimension is presentation i don't want this text 
and, uh, and the dimension would be country then apply so here we will get the country legend so to drag this one to the horizontal orientation select control shift and then gently pull it up pull it down and then so adjust this accordingly right so this is how you can arrange whereas in P in pie chart this is not possible there is a limitation with pie chart regarding this horizontal orientation of legends this won't hear what are you saying it just follows its own rules so this is the limitation uh, with pie chart in click view right there is not nothing as such for the remaining charts so you can see simply here it is arranging in multi column way here it is in only one column so so that's all for this session thanks for watching the video please subscribe